irritating to me. What's going on? Many people in our government worship Satan. Now, some in our government are hidden, but some are forthcoming about their beliefs, such as this article right here. He's an atheist, a Satanist, and he wants your vote. Well, I thought an atheist had nothing to do with any religion, but at the same time, you're saying a Satanist. So it's very, um, this is the way that these Satanists will hide. They say that they're an atheist, but right after that, the ones that are honest will say they're a Satanist. Watch out for this. Freemasonry also is a Luciferian uh, belief system at the highest levels. These Freemasons hold a very important position as they act as a big layer of protection for criminals that do their bidding. Key players are positioned in various courts, law firms, judges, senators, presidents, heads of state, corporations, heads of corporations, heads of religion. They're everywhere. These cults practice pedophilia, sexual abuse, ritual sexual abuse, generational sexual abuse, incest, and all kinds of other perversions. They're behind groups like the Finders, the Family, other procuring systems that abduct, abuse, sacrifice children, women, and their rivals. These groups work in conjunction with the CIA or the shadow government factions and are protected by people within the system if they get caught. See any court, notice the light sentences for child abuse, pedophilia, and uh, killing and hurting of dogs, animals, things like this. Um, also, these, uh, these Satanists, they get off on uh, mind control, uh, ways that you can uh, basically fracture the mind, usually by uh, inflicting some sort of psychological trauma and then molding it the way that they want to. There's all kinds of different ways, but you will see this even on shows like Game of Thrones. They will throw it out there. It's much bigger than you think, and it's less complex than you think. People sometimes hear MK Ultra and they think CIA, big pro. There's a lot of stuff that happens that doesn't need, you don't need to be in the CIA or any intelligence group, but they can still do this. A lot of them do it to their own family. Um, these people are sick. Now, this was a Time article, and the title is called, He's an Atheist, a Satanist, and He Wants Your Vote. I'll give you one guess where this is going on. Yes, I'm not proud to say it is in California, but there is a problem in California, and people with morals need to stand up to this crap. Steve Hill, in many ways, is a typical candidate running for an elected office in California. He's a former U.S. Marine looking to reform public schools, reduce the state's mass incarceration rates, and create jobs. But a couple things are holding him back. He's an avowed atheist and satanic temple organizer. Now just take that last line. He's an avowed atheist, yet he's an organizer for the satanic temple? That's how they operate. Hill is a Democrat running for the state Senate in California's 21st district, which is an, uh, you know, Whoa, he's a Democrat and he's a Satanist? Wow, breaking news. And probably the only candidate in the country who embraces both atheism and, atheism and the tenets of modern-day Satanism. So they're saying he's probably the only candidate in the country who embraces Satanism? I, I do not think so. So right there, Time is definitely doing a number on uh, its readers, saying like, wow, this guy's, you know, this guy's one of a kind. But Hill, who ran unsuccessfully as a write-in candidate last year during a special election, said this year he's getting shunned by the Democratic establishment largely because of views the party believes are too extreme, or that he's not hiding them well enough. I am a Satanist as far as trying to get people to understand that I don't believe in the devil and more than, wait, any more than I believe in God. So he's saying, I'm a Satanist. This, okay, there's a lot of mind control here going on. So let's just cut back to this. The mind control is that the Democratic Party is shunning him because he's a Satanist. I don't have time to get into the whole, you know, all the uh, eccentricities, ethnicities or whatever it's called, all the little factoids about this. But the fact is that the Democratic Party is not shunning this guy because he's too extreme. That's a laughing joke. They're probably, if they are really shunning this guy, it's because he's coming out of the closet and they don't like that. 
They like to hide in the dark. I'm a Satanist, and as far as trying to get, I'm a, excuse me, I'm a Satanist as far as trying to get people to understand that I don't believe in the devil any more than I believe in God. Hill said in an interview, "All of it is stupid, but I have to tell people I'm the devil. To, if I, but if I have to tell people I'm the devil to get them to listen, then okay, I'm the devil. I don't like the way you talk. First of all, just da, 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 just doesn't roll off the tongue. But all of it is stupid." Why are, why are atheists or so-called atheists, then they turn around and then they say they're a Satanist? Why don't you just, why aren't you just an atheist? That's like saying, oh, I'm an atheist and I'm also a Christian. Like, what? What are you talking about? It doesn't make sense. But this is the way they hide. They say, oh, real Satanism is, um, you know, just saying that I don't believe in God. Well, wouldn't, isn't that what the devil wants you to do, you moron, you idiot? But if I have to tell people I'm the devil to get me to listen, then okay, I'm the devil. This guy's a moron. So they're trying to be like, oh, he's doing it as a shtick. No, he's not. But the way they write this, it's 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 multi-layered with the shticks, you know, it's multi-layered. So they're getting people to be like, oh, this guy, you know, if he has to say he's the devil, da, 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 da. like people are idiots. I'm sorry. But they have just dumbed down the society. It's just like, once you see the Matrix, you start getting upset because so many people are in this thing and you start to see all the walls and all the shit around and you're like, what is this crap? You see, you just hear people lying on the talking head media, fake news crap, and you're, it's just, it's unbelievable. Uh, okay, let's keep going here. Hill, who also works as a stand-up comedian in Los Angeles, is currently helping organize an L.A. chapter for the Satanic Temple, a nationwide satanic activist organization. Hill said he identifies with the temple's mission, which he described as a humanist approach that raises levels of consciousness. So the devil also will say that he's a humanist. Look up the definition of uh, humanist. I don't go worship Satan and pour milk on me. See what I mean with the way he talks? I don't go worship Satan and pour milk on me, he said, but Satanism would influence me greatly because I can deal from a different perspective as a regular human being. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. This idiot. I don't go worship Satan and pour milk on me. In the last few years, the Satanic Temple has tried to push Satanism away from its perception of devil worship and into politics. The group says its mission is to encourage benevolence and empathy in society while using satanic imagery to further its goals. Hill says he reconciles his atheism with Satanism by not believing in any sort of deity or otherworldly presence and instead adheres to the satanic temple's goals like keeping church and state separate. Jerk me off. Give me a break. Just, you know what I mean? It's like, give me a break. You, I mean, this, this kind of crap works on a lot of people. This is unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to go, you know, satanic imagery to further its goals, encourage benevolence and empathy. I mean, the, the, it's uh, unbelievable to me how they are pushing Satanism and they're saying like, oh, yeah, we're just using these satanic images to uh, encourage benevolence and empathy. I mean, these people are liars. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then they'll turn around and say, oh, because, uh, you know, you aren't accepting of this or that or this and you don't say the proper words on that. I mean, you have, and I'm not saying every transgender or LGBT people, but you have a lot of them mixed up in here. And um, it's it's a very squirrely bunch, this Democratic Luciferian, uh, I don't know. It's almost like the dark side is all collecting together. Do you see that? Do you see how the dark side with the uh, extreme jihadism, whatever you call these people, these crazy people that are coming from, a, from a, in the Middle East and all this stuff, they've hijacked religion, ladies and gentlemen. They hijack religion, and it's all Satanism. It, there's a lot of different names for Satanism. In fact, a lot of different religions are the same old religion, if you get what I'm saying. The group has often challenged organizations like the Westboro Baptist Church, which regularly holds anti-gay protests at military funerals and has been classified as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. So let's just break that down. So they are saying like, oh, the church is bad. They're anti-gay. They do it at military funerals. They don't, oh, they are just horrible people. See what I'm saying? And the way that it's written, all this is structured to give you a certain mind perspective of what's going on. Because if you look right here, look at satanic imagery, encourage benevolence, empathy. Oh, you know, atheism. It's whatever you want. You, you know, just don't believe in God and this, this, that, and the other thing. The way that they have 
and it's not just the way that it's the way that they write it, but it's also it plays a very crucial role in how your mind is taking this information in. Okay? Because right here, you have the Baptist church, anti-gay. They they protest at military funerals, hate group. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way that they do it is so subtle. The Satanic Temple also pledged to erect a satanic monument. And it's funny how they use that word erect. The Satanic Temple also pledged to erect a satanic monument on the grounds of the Oklahoma State Capitol alongside one displayed the Ten Commandments. So alongside one displayed is the Ten Commandments. One displayed the Ten Commandments. I mean, the way that they wrote this is like a freaking idiot wrote this. On the grounds of the Oklahoma State Capitol, alongside one displaying the Ten Commandments. Never mind. Maybe that, not that one. The Ten Commandments monument has since been removed. Yeah, because people know what you're doing. And speaking of the devil, look who they just put in here on a video. They have the um, communist pope who's a part of the whole shindig and people see through this, even people that aren't religious. I mean, yes, I am Christian and I'm sorry. I should actually uh, say in my videos more that uh, coming to Jesus is the only way it's the um, only way to truly be saved. All of us are sinners. I mean, sometimes I live too much in the real world. Um, you know, but it does say bring people to Jesus and also expose the dark side. So I have to balance it out. So I feel like at this point, people are starting to really understand that there is a war between good and evil. That's it. There's a war between good and evil. The Bible isn't any religion. It's just what God has said for us to do and how to basically live a meaningful life. It's, it has nothing to do with religion. You don't even need to go to church. You, you really don't. I mean, church really is, all it is, is fellowship. Um, and also to read the Bible. And I mean, I I get things out of church that, um, but you don't need that. All you, you could skip around all the pastors and all the preachers and everybody and go straight to the source. You could just go straight to the source. And that's why people know that this Pope is BS because he doesn't, he does, he, he goes against what the Bible says. That's how you could know somebody is BS or not. And, but you have to read the Bible. You have to read the Bible and the Bible is something that it's not like just like a book, like, oh yeah, I read that thing. I mean, the thing, the people s spend their whole lives, um, reading the Bible and you get something new every time you go for a teaching. I mean, the thing is so packed and it's like an onion and it has so many layers and it's so, it's just, it's a work from God. It's unbelievable. All right. So, um, let me keep going. I'm sorry. I'm tripping over my words, but I just go from the heart. Doug Meisner, a satanic temple leader and spokesman who often, uh, goes by the name Lucian Greaves. Oh, isn't that isn't that a wonderful? Lucian, you know what's going on with Lucian right there. Loosening up Satanism, Democrats, everything that is coming together, everything that is true, they're trying to say like, because they're, they're, they're facing such a backlash that um, they're trying to be like, oh, this guy's the only Satanist in the thing and he's not even elected. Give me a break. I mean, who really would believe that? I can't believe Time even wrote this. He's the only Satanist in office. Are you out of your mind? I mean, you must be the worst journalist in the world to say that. I mean, there's more open uh, people that are in, I don't know, actually, I can't say that, but there, believe me, there are, there are, I don't know if it would be good for their politics to come out, come right out and say it, but there are, okay, the thing with Satanism is they're liars, the devil is a liar, all right, his minions are liars, all right, so it says Hill hopes to be the first running to replace Sharon Runner, the Republican incumbent who is not seeking re-election. But Hill acknowledged the difficulties. As of Thursday, he said he had roughly $100 in his campaign account and that he's essentially being abandoned by the Democratic Party and plans to file as an independent. He's also running in what he calls the most religious area of Los Angeles County, an area just north of the city. And it's not just the party that's left him behind. 
he said many of his friends have kept their distance since it's it's not the atheist thing it's the satanic and they're trying to meld that in like oh and they're so good with pulling the strings they always fiddle you a song they always get on their old uh fiddling fiddle you uh, the old stringer oh sing me a song satan oh let me pull out my little violin and just strum you a, a little song i know i know what you're doing get out of here but i think more people are climbing out from under these rocks and saying we exist he said we're human get the hell out of here get the hell out of here this guy's going straight to hell i'm out of here <laughs> Thank you.